Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel. And today, the 11th August 2022, I thought I should share with you something that just popped up in Twitter. So I've been following up on some of these quotes from Tainguni and I shared something with you on the previous analysis. So today I'd like to share with you another tweet, two tweets from Mutai Nguni and also a story that is doing the rounds about Dennis Itumbi's sudden claim. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share this tweet with you. Something don't add up. This is a post from Mutai Nguni. Something don't add up. If voter turnout in Mount Kenya was very low, what explains the 49%, 49% root in medium. This beats scientific logic. If Azimio slips through, through bombers, tables will turn. Remember, Mkokoteni has only one will. Don't be lazy at bombers. Then there was another tweet, again from Mutai Nguni, and this is what the tweet said. Dear Azimio in bombers, Focus on presidential results coming from Mount Kenya. Be thoroughgoing Kiharu, Kandara, Mwea, and Embu. Dear ladies and gentlemen, those are two serious tweets that Mutai Nguni posted. And mind you, do not underestimate anything that Mutai Nguni posts because there is always a reason why he does so. In our previous analysis, when we talked about uh, Mutai Nguni referring to Chebukati as the butcher we talked about the strategies first let the opponent release all the stronghold then strategy number two the magic vote the ghost vote so I tend to believe that we have reached that stage that calls for strategy number two and strategy number two is a bit ruthless involves arrest and anything. And it's for, for that reason that I tried to compile these stories from Mutai Nguni, then tried to co compile the story of Dennis Itumbi when he made claims that Davis Chichir has been arrested or is disappearing or has been kidnapped. So he made those serious allegations. So ladies and gentlemen, before we delve deep into that analysis, please I'd like to urge you, first-time viewers, to please subscribe to our channel. You, you can give us a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you become the first person to get notified. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go straight to Mutai Nguni. There are two references that Mutai Nguni said. One, he told Azimio brigades in Bomas not to sleep. Two, he told the Azimio brigades to focus on particular areas. And when you, if you remember what I, to, I said last time, I talked about Tarakaniti as being a zone that, are, that played a key role in Kibaki's re-election in 2007. As I speak right now, there's also some, it's alleged that there are votes within Tarakaniti which are still being held, have not been released. So we don't know. It could be that it's they are being held in favor of Kenya Kwanzaa or they are being held in favor of Azmi One Kenya lands. We do not have those facts yet. But Mutengu you want the people, the Azimio people in Bomas to take care and watch Kandara, Mwea, Kiharu and Embu votes with a lot of kin. Mind you, Embu is a stronghold for UDA. All these regions are UDA perceived stronghold and all of them are Mount Kenya regions. So what Mutai is trying to communicate to Azimio on Kenya lands is that rigging will be done and this will be done by Kenya Kwanzaa. And these are the targeted areas where those votes that will give root of 50 plus 1 will come from those regions. So now, Dennis Itumbi made some serious allegations about Davis Chirchiri to being missing. So 
Dear ladies and gentlemen, you know that Davis Chief Chief is the chief chief of staff of William Samoy Ruto. Then there is Wanjoi Gidai. Wanjoi Gidai is the communication director, also alleged to be missing. These two gentlemen are alleged to be missing. That is as far according to the Dennis Itube. We don't know whether Davis Dennis Itube is trying to divert attention so that people stop focusing on these areas that Mutai Nguni has listed, areas like Embu, areas like Kandara, areas like Mwea, so that instead of them focusing on those areas, then they should focus on the disappearance of Davis Chirchir and uh, Gidai. You see, Dennis Itumbi is a, a strategist, an online strategist, digital strategist, who is always on so focused on making sure that he creates waves. Dennis Itumbi thrives well where there are, you know, breaking news, where there are like, you know, trending viral posts and the like. So it could be that he's trying to create a story that will go viral so that people's attention focus on those two gentlemen who are disappearing and then the, these people to stop focusing on the key areas and those are the areas I've listed Embu, Kandara, Mwea and other regions which are perceived to be strongholds of Kenya Kwanza and according to Mutanguni, these areas might be the winning might bring the winning votes for Kenya Kwanza. So if these people, the Azimio and Kenya Alliance, decide to take a lot of focus on these areas, then those votes might not find their way into bombers of Kenya. Well, there is, I know the deep state is working on something. That something has to be done. We, do, we can't deny the fact that deep state has heavily invested in Azimio and Kenya Alliance. That is something that we, are, we all know. So we don't think it will be an easy park a walk in the park for Kenya Kwanza to easily get a win. You saw Azimi One Kenya Alliance at KICC prepare uh, the place for you know final announcement of Raila Molodinga as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. All those things have been done, all those arrangements wouldn't have been done if the Azimi One Kenya Alliance and the Deep State did not know something about this. So if perhaps what Itumbi is alleging is actually true that Davis Chirchir and Gidai have been arrested, then I think there is something that could be happening behind the scene. As you speak at the moment, the votes are 50-50. 49%, 49% for Kenya Kwanza and Azimio. So there is no sure win. But then we believe that this final hour will be, uh, it's, it'll be very crucial for bombers of Kenya and for the two teams as far as the votes are concerned. We understand that there are regions which have not submitted their form 34As and form 34B. So these forms are very crucial because you know, this time around, Tebukadi decided that those forms would be screened and posted to the portal, available for anybody who would like to tally, to perform their own tallies. But then, Chebukati and the team are insisting on the physical forms to be submitted so that they can kind of check with what's available on the portal for them to compile and produce a tangible and something that is verifiable and, you know, a, 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 a credible result to the people of Kenya. I think Chebukati is trying to avoid some notifications or, you know, those expensive court battles that emanate from the fact that votes have been cooked and the like but we don't think the deep state will let go of this contest that is it's not going to be possible i think the deep state has invested just like i said and going forward the deep state will make sure that Raila amolo odinga be secures the win and this will be like i said in a previous analysis when you talked about chepukati being the butcher the first round win will be assured for Kenya for, for, for Azimio One Kenya Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps if you're watching our video and you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe. Kipchumba Murkomen 
attempted to differ with Dennis Itumbi and even cited David, De Dennis Itumbi as being a person who provides baseless, you know, petty uh, allegations that don't hold water. So what Kipchumba Murkomen was trying to tell us is that ignore what Dennis Itumbi is saying because those are just meant to create some online uh, uh, traffic for 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 for, for Dennis Itumbi the strategist could be maybe part of Dennis Itumbi's strategy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, allow me to wind up there and as we continue to sit, find out where Davis Chirichir could have disappeared to, please take a moment and subscribe. And until we meet again, please take care.